and it works exactly like an onion. Let me explain. When you want to visit a website using Tor, it's like you're sending a secret message. First, you write your message down and put it in a lockbox. Then, you put that lockbox inside another lockbox. And then another, and another, and another. You create multiple layers, just like an onion. Then you send this multi-layered box to a random computer somewhere in the world. That computer then has the key to unlock only the outermost box. Inside, it finds instructions to send the remaining boxes to another random computer. That second computer unlocks the next layer and sends it to a third, and this pretty much happens over and over and over again, bouncing your secret message between volunteer computers all across the globe. And by the time your message gets to its final destination, the website that you want to visit, it's been passed through so many hands that no single person in the chain knows both who sent the original message and where it was ultimately going. The website you visit only sees the address of the very last computer in the chain, not yours. It's like playing a massive game of telephone with a secret note, where each person in line is in a different country and wearing a mask. This is how the dark web achieves anonymity. It hides your computer's home address by making your connection take a long, crazy, unpredictable trip around the world. This makes it almost impossible for anyone to trace your activity back to you. So, the websites on the dark web also use the same technology. Their physical location is hidden as well. Their web addresses usually end in .onion instead of .com. 